happy me hi everyone today i will expand on the nut i created in my previous video with some formulas and end user parametric options for the whole diameter and the thickness of the nut you will learn how to use an if statement with a yes no parameter let's get going by opening up the nut family and the parameter dialog box the first parameter i'll create is a yes no parameter for the hole and thickness this means that for example, if I enable the whole parameter, I'll have the option to manually input the whole diameter for the nut instead of using the automatically generated diameter provided by the family formula I set up in the last video. Let's put both of the yes no parameters in the group with the name data. Next, create the two new parameters for the nut height and the nut hole diameter. We'll put the nut width at the top. In the dimensions group and enter some numerical values for both of them. At the moment they will not do anything but will change that really soon. Now over to the juicy part of this tutorial, the if statement with a yes no parameter as the condition. To start type if in the formula column for the x height parameter. Next enter the yes no parameter in the condition section. Simply writing the parameter name automatically sets the condition to yes. This means if the yes no parameter is checked true, the condition is met and the formula will return the input value, the true value, which in our case is the nut height. If the yes no parameter is checked off, it means it is a no and the condition is not met, which will return us the calculated value, nut width multiplied by 0.75 the false value. You can see when toggling the yes no hold parameter, yes that should be height, we'll fix it later, that the value for the x hole toggle between the input value not height for yes true and the calculated value not width multiplied by 0 0.75 for no is false. I will proceed by doing the same if formula for the next parameter, the principles are the same as the one I have just explained. Do a little bit of flexing, toggling on and off the yes no parameter. I see I made a small error, slightly confusing the whole and height parameters. I will quickly adjust the formula so the appropriate parameters match each other. When done, I load the nut into the Revit project. I can now decide if I want to manually determine the numerical values for the whole diameter and the height of the nut, or if I want it to be automatically calculated based on the nut width. That wraps up this tutorial. Thank you for watching and give this video a like if you found it helpful.